Hey everybody, I wanted to do a quick review of this Yaochik GD P1B uh, 1080p projector. This is an outdoor movie projector for outdoor or indoor use. Uh, I wanted to do a quick uh, review to show you what you get and how it works. Uh, the only complaint that I have about this thing is for such a nice projector and for all the details that they put into this thing, it would have been great to have a nice little carrying case uh, instead of tr having to transport it in this box. Not a big deal, uh, just worth mentioning. Here's the stats. Uh, this thing does come with a, a screen. Uh, as you can see, I've got a screen already set up, ready to go. It's a little bit bigger than the one that's included here, but they do give you a 100 inch screen included with it. Um, so uh, this is a hang style. You have, you have to use the included plastic mounting grommets or um, a existing wall mount screen in order to mount this thing. Um, but it's really easy to put these stickers on if you decide to use a screen or you can use a free extending screen like the one that I have here. Uh, as far as the projector itself, this thing is very well built. Uh, it's not super heavy, but it feels heavy enough to feel like high quality. Um, it's got some, some substance to it. It doesn't feel cheaply made. Uh, here is the info panel that gives you the model number and all that stuff. Um, it does have a universal quarter inch mounting bracket on the bottom. Uh, when I use it, I do use a tripod. This tripod's not included, but it does accept a standard tripod mount. So you simply mount this tripod mount to the bottom of the screen or to the bottom of the projector. Uh, and you can stand it on any normal tripod like so. Or you can simply set it on a table. It does have rubber feet, so it'll stay uh, very well put on a table, but I find uh, I can get it higher and have more functionality in mounting it when I'm using a tripod. All right, so you do have a focus knob and a keystone knob, and you'll see what those do once I take this cover off, once I get it all set up. Uh, the keystone changes the angle of the screen and the focus knob adjusts the actual focus and how uh, clear it is. You've got a touch panel here with different buttons that turn the unit on and off. Uh, you also have a uh, the AC plug adapter, a VGA in. Here is the sensor for the remote. Uh, and then you have all these connectors on the side as well. You've got a USB in, headphone jack, uh, AV out, HDMIs, two different HDMI inputs, and then a USB input as well. So you can play things off of a media drive or flash drive. So they really put a lot of thought and detail into this thing. It works great. Uh, it's nice and clear, nice and bright. Um, I will show you all that as I get it set up. Uh, in addition, you also get these, here's the power cable, but you also get a video cable to attach different video components to it. Um, so you get that as well. In addition, you get an HDMI cable right here, and you also get a remote control. The remote control works great. Uh, but this also has a screen mirroring function on the projector itself. Uh, so it allows you to connect to your cell phone and use your cell phone as a remote in some, uh, in some respects. So I'll show you all that. I'll get everything connected and show you how it works. Um, but this is everything that you get. Okay, guys, I got the projector all set up. Just wanted to show you real quick how to get it connected and how to hook everything up. Uh, as you can see, uh, I don't have the projector f back far enough. Normally, I would have this mounted behind the couch so that I've got the full screen filled up. But I just wanted to show you how it works real quick. Uh, you get the projector the distance that you want from the screen, so it fills up the screen. Then you've got a focus knob here that you just rotate and adjust until your image comes into focus. Uh, once it's in focus, you can see it's, it's nice and clear, super crisp, nice clean edges. This is a high definition uh, projector. Really good picture and it's nice and bright. I'll turn the lights off and show you exactly how it looks. But the keystone lever here, you can adjust the keystone. You can see it changes the tilt of the screen. So if, you're, if your projector is at an angle, it's sitting at an angle, adjusting the keystone will help it get it nice and level like that. So uh, you do wanna make sure that your remote is pointed at the back, at this little window here. Uh, if the remote is not pointed at that window, it's not gonna register and nothing's gonna happen. But as long as you point it at that back window, you can see it changing your different screen settings. I've got an Android phone, so I'm gonna select the Android screen. It goes into screen mirroring mode. And then on here, I don't know if you can see this, 
but Yao Hick is one of the selection options. I click on that and my phone should connect to the projector and go into mirroring mode. Might take a second. There it says it's starting. All right, now my phone screen is mirrored onto the projector. So you can play anything that you would play on your phone, whether it's uh, music, movies, whatever you have on your phone. Uh, in addition, you also have the cables to directly connect um, an HDMI. If you're watching a DVD, you can connect an HDMI to it. Um, or you can have video input cables if you have some other source that you would want to send into the projector. But this screen mirroring function is the coolest function that, that I can see with this projector. Uh, it transmits the sound as well. So whatever sound is playing from your phone, it transmits it through to the projector as well. The projector does have internal speakers, but I highly recommend you hooking it up to an external speaker of some sort, whether that's a, a Bluetooth speaker, you can connect a Bluetooth speaker directly to it. Um, the internal speakers aren't bad, but they're a whole lot better. Um, I'll give you a little demonstration here to show you how it sounds and how it looks, but uh, I highly recommend hooking up a Bluetooth speaker. But uh, so far, very happy with this thing. It's fantastic. All the same functions that I have on the remote you have directly on this display here too. Um, so you have um, access to all the functions and buttons on the projector without using the remote. You can also, once it's mirroring your phone, anything you do on your phone will be transmitted on the display as well. So I'll turn off the lights and I'll show you how it looks playing an actual um, movie of some sort. Okay guys, I do have the projector all set up and dialed in and it's connected to my phone. Um, this is uh, Amazon Prime Video that's queued up right now. Uh, I just wanted to show you real quick that it is mirroring what's on my phone. So when I press play on my phone, it's gonna play it on the screen. I've got the speakers turned up to max volume on my phone and I'll press the button on the remote here to increase the volume all the way on the projector. The projector speakers aren't great, I would definitely recommend you connect it to a Bluetooth speaker of some sort or some, some kind of supplemental sound um, because they're not super great. They're okay if you're sitting right next to it, but the sound quality is not awesome. So uh, you can hook up a Bluetooth speaker or you can hook up headphones if you want to use headphones with it. Um, you can do that as well, but it's nice and bright, super clear uh, picture quality, um, and this thing works fantastic. So overall, very happy with it. Multiple different inputs, good picture quality, good sound quality. This thing's fantastic. So hopefully this video review was helpful for you guys. I would definitely recommend this projector.